Okay, hi everyone, here is my education for you, but maybe some of you who are more intelligent than me and know a bit more can also educate me as well. My understanding, uh, this is regarding PAL, NTSC settings, your frame rates, uh, and your frames per second, or your shutter speeds uh, when taking video. Um, my understanding of it is that uh, PAL, and NTSC PAL is for Europe and the UK, NTSC is for America and other places. I think Japan as well. Um, and my impression was that they are to do with the frequencies in your country um, in terms of power outputs. So in other words, in the UK and Europe, somebody got together with all the power companies and said, pump out the electricity at 50 hertz a second. So it goes in and, out, in and out 50 times a second. So these lights just now are pulsing away at 50 times a second. Um, and in America, it's very close, it's just 60 times a second. Um, and in a camera, in the olden days of, of film video cameras that you'd have on your shoulder, you didn't really have an option of changing the shutter speed uh, or anything. It was really just the aperture and the gain. Um, or, or the shutter speed was only, it was either it was exactly your, oh no, you couldn't, you couldn't even have it at your, uh, you couldn't have shutter speed at the same as your frame rate. So if you were at uh, 50 frames a second, you couldn't shoot at a 50th of a second because you wouldn't have a, an opening for your thing, for your lens to close down with. It would have to be open all the time, it just wouldn't work. So you had to do it at a speed which was a little bit faster than your frames per second. And for you not to get interference, with the lighting, the strobing effect that it gets your lights, the only thing to do was double your frame rate. So you'll see a lot of people talk about if you're shooting at 25 frames a second, you shoot at a 50th of a second. Uh, and that makes sense. So in, in the UK, uh, just now, um, obviously these lights, as you can see, if I just look up at these, I've got this at a high ISO, about 2000 ISO, I'm shooting at 50th of a second. As you can see, it's just, it's fine. There's no kind of banding or anything going on. I'll just focus over there. However, if I go anywhere out with 50th of a second, so if I go up to 60th of a second, now, notice the banding. So what's happening is, although to our eyes, these lights just seem like a constant on, to a camera, if you're able to see at 60 frames a second or 60th of a second, you see they're actually pulsing on and off a little bit and that's causing a little bit of banding. So again, if I go from 60th, 7th or 80th, again, still got it. But once I go to 100th, I'm back in the flow, as you can see, of the lights. So we've got no problem, there's no banding going on. If I go above 100th of a second, it gets a bit pump again. Really bad, 160th and 200th of a second, we're going twice the speed or three times or four times the speed of the actual frames uh, of that. So that's where we're starting to see this banding. So the only frame rates that you've got to avoid the banding and this strobing is a hundredth or a fiftieth or a thirtieth. So if I just bring the ISO down a bit, if I go to fortieth of a second, you can see definitely there's, there's some banding quickly flickering on and off. But if I go to a 30th of a second, and I'm shooting at 30 frames a second, because I've got my camera set to NTSC, it doesn't necessarily matter, because the fact is my shutter speed is slower than the actual uh, light, but at a point where it's the same as the actual frames per second. So having 30th of a second, 30 frames a second, gets you smooth footage, like that. But if I go to 40th, doesn't quite work. And if we go to 50th, spot on. So now I've set it to PAL setting. So here I'm at 25th of a frame of a second, uh, 25 frames a second, and I'm at a 50th of a second. So this is what everyone would say is good. However, if I move a Canon 5D Mark II, does that look a little bit jittery to you? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I think that looks a little bit jittery. If I bring this down to 30th of a second, that's the maximum it can go, still. I've got smoothness going on here. And what does the jitter look now in terms of that picture moving? 
If I go faster than 50th of a second, but I'm still in pulse setting, let's see, do we still get the banding going on? Not really. 80th of a second, not bad either. 100th of a second, that seems to be an all right height as well. So I'm putting it at ISO 2000, 2000 again. I'm bringing the shutter speed up. So it seems like if I've got it in pulse, oh no. There you go, there you see it. So that's at 200th of a second, and now I'm getting a constant band going on there. And yet, 160th. Do you see that? See how it's a little bit brighter here, a little bit darker there, darker there. As we move that, 100th of a second, clear, clean. That's fine. 80th of a second, can we see a banding going on? Uh, it's, it's, oh no, yeah, I can still see there is a slightly brighter band going on here than that. So if I have an NTSC setting, you have it moving up and down, making it obvious. But here, I can definitely see that there's a slightly, slightly brighter bit here. 60th of a second, I'll bring the ISO down. So there, yeah, there's definitely, it looks like there's a brighter band going on in the middle there. So if shooting at NTSC uh, frames per second, so 30 frames a second or 60 frames a second, if you have it at 30th of a second or 60th of a second, that's fine. If you have it at a 50th of a second in a European country, that's fine. Or a 100th of a second, that's fine as well. Um, and that will mean that you're in the same frequency as the lights here. If you have it in PAL setting, uh, you should keep it at 1 25th of a second, if you can with your digital SLR, or at 50th of a second, or 100th of a second. However, if you go to the in-between shutter speeds, you don't get the banding moving up and down, but you do get an area where they're, they're just out of frequency with the lights. So it seems that there's a, there's a band of brightness uh, going on there. So, I don't necessarily think it's a case of PAL is wrong, NTSC is wrong, as long as you've got the right shutter speeds um, with, to do with your frequency of light. So for me, I generally shoot in NTSC mode, which is the wrong one for my country. Um, however, that gives me 30 frames a second, and all I need to do is have my shutter speed at a 30th of a second, or a 50th, or a 100th of a second, and then I don't get any banding uh, when I'm doing indoor shots uh, with, with kind of indoor UK lighting. So that was my understanding of, of uh, NTSC and PAL. If you think there's anything different, or if I've got anything wrong, let me know down below. There's also a whole pile of stuff about uh, PAL setting being the, the number of um, scan lines and stuff going on, but that was standard definition. I don't know whether that really translates to like modern internet viewing and high definition stuff. So that's a different kind of thing. But let me know if you think if I'm wrong on this or whatnot. Cheers. Bye bye.